Hi all, Mark from Addix and this is a knowledge sharing instalment as part of the value add Addix provides its clients. In this session we'll be looking at a common query I get relating to the Green Tree database, specifically how to interpret what you're looking at when viewing the database fields. Primarily aimed at those of you who create reports or queries, the outcome will simply be a better understanding of the database. As much as I can show you in a couple of minutes that is anyway. Let's get into it. To demonstrate today's topic, I'll be using the HR employee record and the primary tool being inspector. So we're going to bring up a employee record now, navigate to a particular employee. An inspector is this icon here. Now if you don't see it, it's a security setting and just approach your systems administrator and they'll sort you out. So I, I will click it, bring the inspector window over. Now inspectors are divided into three particular areas. The leftmost area are what's known as buckets and you use these to interrogate your um, record. The middle section simply shows the fields and attributes that make up the employee record in this case and the rightmost section uh, would show you values if we were to click on a particular field or attribute. Now inspector nicely sort of categorizes um, the fields and attributes by using these little graphic symbols on the left uh, to explain each one. If you have an A symbol like we see here it simply means alphanumeric meaning uh, the field it corresponds to can contain letters and or numbers. So in this case if we were to look at address 1 we get the value 141 Tarrant Point Road and across from the form we see the address 1 field which is this 141 Tarrant Point Road. The next type are what's known as collections symbolized by the three horizontal lines. The best way to think about a collection is many records, whether they be rows or whatnot, associated to the one parent record, in this case HR person. Now to show you an example of that, if I was to go to the employee's CV tab and I can see this particular employee has three certifications. We find the corresponding collection. In this case it's going to be all HR person CV certifications and if I click on that you see the values listed here. Now each one of those represents an individual employee certification in this case. Moving down if you see a slash slash type symbol this is just a date so that more or less speaks for itself. If you see a tick symbol this is what's called a Boolean field, meaning uh, true, false, or yes or no, or zero or one. Um, and that's actually quite a pertinent point. Um, Green Tree, uh, for example, if I was to click on is inactive, Green Tree will show or display false or true, but actually from a database point of view, it would be zero or one. So think of it like this when you've got a checkbox on a form, if it's unchecked, the value would be 0. If it's checked, the value would be 1. Moving down further, these uh, right hand um, icons represent a reference or a join in, in, in other words. So if I was to look at branch and on the employee record you know that you've got a branch field just here. Now notice it's actually a drop down field meaning I can select one value from a list of values and that's really what these things mean. So um, in this case branch here and you can see it's Perth and then Perth in the drop down as well. Further down if you see a symbol which um, more or less looks like a 9 it's simply a, um, a field that will contain numbers and um, once again that sort of speaks for itself. And finally we all know that under the custom tab of an employee record or any record for that matter you can define your own values pertinent to you know the requirements of your organization um, left is the trees and on the right are UDFs which is just user-defined fields. 
So you can also see these via an inspector um, symbolised just here. So we've got the person tree, New South Wales, New South Wales, and then you've got UDFs like working with children check, working with children check. So that explains um, what the individual icons mean. Now, if you wanted to interrogate um, your particular record and sort of find out a little bit uh, more information, um, you use the buckets as I explained earlier. So uh, for this example, I'll just once again go to the certifications. So this is drag and drop, so you can actually click and drag it into the bucket. If I wanted to have a look at a particular certification, I'll click one of them, you'll notice that the fields all changed because now these fields represent the type of um, record we're, we're visibly looking at, in this case the certification. So if I wanted to see what the values were within that, um, you would click on a particular field. So obtain date, 30th October 1998, to verify that, obtain date. 30th of October 1998. Now, right now we can't actually see the type of certification it is from a database point of view. And you'll notice that we've got the link field here, type. So what I can do is I can drag that into a different bucket and, and so on and so on. And this sort of demonstrates the, the pretty good nature of Green Tree in, the, in its, the ability to drill down further and further and further um, and sort of really ascertain what the record's all about. So if I was to click as I did on certification type and I have a look at the description, well this certification type is a driver's license. Now if you, you sort of, uh, there's nothing stopping you from uh, grabbing my certification type and dropping it into the same bucket. This just comes down to personal preference of um, where, you, uh, where and which bucket you, you drop it into. And if it gets a little bit too much, just highlight the record. You can delete it or you can go to view and empty data bucket and it will literally clear the entire bucket. One thing um, to note about the naming convention used, um, and this pretty much is across the board, most of the time the names are quite self-explanatory. Yeah, address one is address one. If I was to go and find birth date, is birth date. And, and everything like this corresponds to a particular field on the form. And this is true whether I was looking at a JC employee record um, or even a job, an HR employee, in this case an AP um, supplier record, whatever it might be. Uh, and that sort of just aids uh, in your, you know, your exploration of the database from an inspector point of view. So that's it. Um, I remember basically inspector is your friend and if you're creating a report or writing a query, this should be one of the primary tools that you use um, to design your query or, or report. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for additional knowledge sharing videos and we'll be coming right back to you. Bye bye.